prepare ourselves, make some good profit this week. Now a quick summary of what's happening. Now we were on a trading range right here between 402 and 390. We've traded here for about a good three weeks. We've had some breakthrough, but this was duly rejected back into range. Then we had a very favorable CPI report that brought us up to 410 pre-market before we started selling off. And thereafter, we had Powell appearing in the FOMC that brought the market in a 10-point whipsaw before it ultimately turned bearish and finally broke us out of this range at 390 right here. Now, we had a really, really good week last week and that's because we had a strategy that we played the strangle and the straddle and most of the members capitalized on taking the calls profit here or if not your calls profit here and leaving the puts all the way along the way till the end I still have some puts remaining. I want to see if the 390 remains a rejection of the range, but I will talk a little bit about that later. But you can watch uh, the playlist right here of the videos of how we prepared for this strangle or straddle last week, including some of the live Discord analysis of how to have prepared for this. So if you run through the videos, including the live analysis, you would have quite an understanding of how to have prepared for this, especially if you were in the Discord server where I provided the live analysis throughout. Uh, it will be certainly very helpful if you understood the strategy and how to have deployed it as well. Now, what should we expect ahead? Now, we are closing into the end of the year with the holiday season just around the corner. So we should be expecting some thinning volume in trading. And that's something you have to keep in mind as well, that most people will not be actively trading as we approach uh, the Christmas and the New Year holidays. So just be a little bit more mindful of that, that if the market starts to chop or we have very low volume trading, you are prepared for that. Now, that being said, right now, we are in a fourth consecutive rate day with very aggressive pre-market selling. So we have many gaps to be possibly to be filled. We have broken out of this range at 390 right here. And if we take a look at a 30 minute chart, and you notice for the past four days, I have, especially after the FOMC, there is just very, very little buying. And the only buying only comes at the end of the day near power hour where shorts start to cover them. So there's no real buying in the market right now as we're looking at this selling channel, very aggressive selling channel right here. So firstly, you have to be very careful if you're trying to call the bottom. Not yet. Now the market will certainly find a support. So that's where we want to be identifying. And when Monday opens, that's where we want to be trying to see where the support could be. Now the range is protected by this 380 orange level right here. And you can see that's where we actually form this cup exactly near where this 380 orange is and that's where we had the shorts that were covering at the end of friday now i have a video here as well talk of talking about this and how to be identifying that because then there is one indicator you probably missed you can watch this video if you have not so if we include this orange 380 level here right we are nearing to the end of the range of the other trading range here and the next trading range will be at this orange 372 here now with so much selling you must be waiting to see where the support level will start to hold that will take time for us to identify and for now we can be setting this hard resistance at this 390 orange for now here especially after we broke through this range so pay attention to this 390 orange this should be quite a hard resistance as we move into this week now there are also several resistances here which i will be running through so firstly this 390 orange this is hard resistance we want to be talking about right here this 387 here 386 387 this 385 385 pink and yellow this 383 here which was quite an important level where we were trading previously and right now it is 380 which is the bottom of this range now, monday is a day of observation you want to be looking out for structures within all these ranges and we want to be seeing if the buyers start to claim some sort of support 
or do we continue to see bear flagging and forming resistances at these levels? Don't forget this is a continuation of this five day crossing below the 20 day moving average. And I talked about that extensively as well in another video, but very simply, whenever the five day crosses below the 20 day, just take a look, right? This is just a trend of what may happen. So this was a very important indicator for us, especially when we broke below 390. Now, technically speaking, in terms of technical analysis, we are still allowed support up till this 380 here. So if this 380 holds, it is still technically possible for a cup and handle to be forming to break through right here. So that could also be a reason why there were no buyers in this range, because think about it. If you are a buyer, you would want to buy at the lowest price as possible. Or the possibility of a lowest price right now is within this range here. The buyer still can buy here to start to be either covering the shorts or buying at a value price. So when we have buyers after such a heavy selling, these buyers may not be bulls. They could still be bears just covering their shorts. People who have shorted previously looking for a nice price to buy. And technically speaking, this is an acceptable range right here. So when we do have maybe a green day or two and we bring it back to 390 range, don't be too surprised by that as well. But before that happens, we cannot assume, we must recognize that this is a very bearish pattern and we have not discovered any strong support yet. Now the support on Friday, this is a shorts covering, short one, right? We cannot be certain that this is the bottom of the range yet, unless we have some confirmation where we built maybe a secondary support, where we build another support and we form a higher high, for example, or we have a double bottom. Now that will give you some sort of confirmation that this should be a strong enough support. And thereafter, you should be looking out for bulls building a structure to start breaking up the above resistances. Now, plenty of resistances ahead. And one of the more important ones will be this 385 here. I want you to pay special attention to that. And also this 390 where I mentioned this very hard resistance level here. So will we continue to go down? Oh, that's obviously one play that we were preparing for, right where we left our puts. I had a four week strangle open and my puts leg are still open. And what I'm looking out for will be to see if 390 continues to hold. Now this will be where my stops are for my puts. Now they will be my profit taking stops right here. And if we continue to head down, that's where I want to be continuing to take partial profits. Now 380 is as good as my target reached. But after we met here within a week, and given that I still have about three weeks left on my puts, I'll be looking at 372 if we do get there. But always remember, we are technically still able to be basing it off somewhere around 380 to 375. So that's where I want to be paying attention to if we continue to form a support level right here. But don't forget, we are still selling. And the only reason why we're looking out for support because we have not seen a support level yet. The bulls have not appeared at all apart from covering shorts. And when you're buying at such a low level after so much selling, the people who are buying may not be bulls, they are bears as well. So it's technically not impossible that this shorts can be covered here. So I'm paying attention possible that we can have green days or two. And the next thing I want to be looking out for is if 390 continues to reject. But otherwise, there are very key important levels here. And I was telling you to pay attention to this resistance at 385. If they are continuing to be resistances, then we will form the selling channel that continues. And we're still beating it down until we broke through this 380 orange. So 380 orange is the new range here that we want to be paying attention to. We want to see some support holes here or higher high forms. And thereafter we break through 385. That's what I want to look out for, followed by 390. So these are the two levels I want to be paying attention to see if resistance forms as some sort of bear flag in this past week to bring us further down 380. But otherwise I think power has provided some sort of clarity here. And we want to see if this continues downwards to come to a certain level. So look out for that support level. As I mentioned after this, the support level will be both accepted by the bulls and the bears. So it will be a strong support level. 
level. Pay attention to that level. So thank you very much for watching. It's going to be a light week ahead, so uh, trade lightly. But otherwise, let's see if the market continues in this direction that Powell has prepared us for. But just be careful of shorts covering at this particular price range, yes? So thank you very much, and I will be sharing more of the intraday analysis as well as the important levels to be paying attention to in the uh, pre-trade uh, Discord briefing that I'll pro be providing to members every day before our trading starts. So thank you very much, and uh, see you closer to opening bell. Thank you very much.